that one person we were really hoping was going to experience something. Want to tell us about it? <laughs> yeah, it it made my whole weekend. I'm 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 set. I'm fit to be tied. Um, I'm I'm trying a thing. I'm sleeping in the back of my bed of my truck with a cushion, and uh, I had shut the door to the trailer, and there's a mechanism when you want to leave the door open it comes off the trailer and then it it tees and then that hold fits into the door to hold it against the trailer and it's not spring loaded it's just you put it in there and i shut it and had said good night to laura was getting in no more than five or ten minutes after i laid down what i can compare it to is those door stops in your house those metal ones that go boing i'm i, I kind of like I get up and look over the bed of my truck, like, damn it, nothing's there. And I go, thank you. <laughs> and then um, I go to sleep and um, what wakes me up, and it was almost the same feeling when I sleep in the, the trailer and Laura moves or Cedar moves. If you don't have the stabilizers up really tight, the trailer were like, God damn it, you know, Laura quit moving or Cedar quit moving. <laughs> My truck moved <clears throat> like that. So wow. it was really cool. I was really, really thankful. That that was really neat. Well, we started looking around and on um, on the driver door, she you hit it with the, the black light and you can you can see my fingers were all shut it, but down the first one, we really noticed it's a definite, really glows finger mark. And, and, and kind of like another little smudge beside it for maybe like a side of the palm or something. Yes. And then we went up and by the door handle, you can see one more short one. And then we open the door and where your doors come together there, there's you know that little gap like there should be a whole handprint well on the inside right there there that lit up too so you came to the conclusion they did it when the door was open mm -hmm. would you ever touch your truck with greasy fingers oh uh, heck no that's my baby <laughs> yeah <laughs> no. and the the upper and, marks you can actually see where they were muddy they muddy, were yes. yeah yeah no huh? it's like it's terrible with all that dust on it. I'm just, I gotta wash it. As we were leaving, <laughs> yeah. it was like, cause the whole group was chattering about what we saw and we were all leaving that area and it was just one large, very sharp crack. And Lenny about jumped out of his skin. He's like, do you hear that? It was so cool. <laughs> Thank you. We all turned. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, it was all, just like on yeah. the other side of the bushes. I mean, yeah. it was so close. It was very cool. Tracy and I had taken the drums and gone out and done some walking around and drumming. And we had uh, a lot of knocks and clangs and bangs and crashes and things. There was one back in this direction that might have even been a tree coming down. It was so big. It was pretty loud. Yeah, yeah. So it was, it was basically a really eventful day. It was just really, really cool. They were critiquing your drum playing. Oh, is that what it was? <laughs> well, I hope they liked it, because we whole, sure did have fun. The whole world's a critic, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, Lenny and I were sitting back to back, and we heard a stick snap, and we both heard it, which helped give me confirmation. And then I'm just sitting there looking around, and all of a sudden, there's a little light, a white light, about quarter size maybe. And I'm from the Midwest, so I'm used to seeing lightning bugs. And it kind of flashed like that, like a lightning bug. But it was bigger than a lightning bug. And that's what I saw. And Lenny said he saw it too. I think it's important to note that uh, it's on the other side of the road where there is no campgrounds, no parking. There's no people it's just brush and trees didn't you say you saw a bigger light a bigger one we you you saw the flash too so i think we were both looking down the road oh you had your flare yeah so you were going around with that 
and I'm just looking down the road because that's the way I was facing. And um, there's a big fir tree and all of a sudden there's this light. And when I kind of first saw it, it was like if kind of square. To me, it was like this big. And then I was following it. I thought it was moving, but it didn't move for you. It was like a flash for you, Tracy? It was a flash, okay. a big flash. And I, I, I thought it was a continuation that it kept going. So I'm still focused on it, waiting it to go. Cause to me, it looked like it went on the other side of the fir tree. So I'm waiting for it to appear here. It didn't. And then I wanted to see if it was going parallel with the, the big tree trunk and it never appeared again, but it was freaking huge and bright. Wow, cool. But uh, Debbie, you said you heard walking around your tent? Right, I, you know, it was strange. I mean, at first it was just on the backside and then I heard walking and around the whole tent. And I was just listening like, oh my God, there's, and I don't really have any windows in that tent in the, where I, it's just the door. So I couldn't unzip and look out or anything. Um, and then when I was, I forgot to tell you this, I was lying there after I heard the walking and I faintly heard my name, Debbie. And I oh. thought it was you, Barb. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yeah. And there was nothing. And so yeah, it was very interesting. Okay, now, uh, in association with uh, something else happening around Debbie's tent, you want to share, Ter or Tracy? Um, my camp is up here on the hill, and I can look down into main camp, and Debbie's tent is here in main camp, just on the north side. And uh, I sleep with uh, the canopy open I t so that I can see everything. Um, and I do that intentionally so that when I wake up at night, I can look around and see what it is that's waking me up. I woke up twice last night and I'm looking down at camp here. And <laughs> Debbie's tent lights up. It, the, the light inside her tent came on and then it went off. And that happened two different times during the night. So you didn't... Do no, anything. no, I did not turn on any lights in the middle of the night. Okay, and and uh, what woke you up? I don't know. I, <laughs> I just woke up and I take a look around to see what woke me up. And while I'm looking down at camp here, that's when her light came on and then went off both times. So you were woken up twice? Yes. And And each time you were woken up, you looked down and saw her light come on? Yes. So isn't that just kind of interesting timing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know how that happens. Okay, very cool.